Well, in this session, we're exploring the content of the curriculum. Now, we have two bands that we're looking at in this course, years seven and eight, and years nine and 10. Years seven and eight, it's compulsory. So all students will be studying the digital technologies curriculum in years seven and eight, ideally. In years nine and 10, it's an elective. So students will be choosing whether or not to study digital technologies in years nine and 10. Now the consequences of this is that you need to be able to sell your subject. You need to make it attractive and interesting for students to enroll and learn digital technologies in years nine and 10. And a big part of that is how you frame the content of your subject and the activities and the assessment that go around the teaching of digital technologies. So all of this comes down to the content, the content descriptors. Now these describe what students need to learn as part of their digital technology studies. Now it's not the only thing, there's also the thinking skills and the core concepts and the cross-curriculum priorities, but as part of the learning areas, the digital technology subject, the content descriptors describe what it is that students need to learn. Now these are framed as they have a code and then a short description. Now how these descriptions are interpreted um, can vary. Someone with a really strong background in computer science may think that, oh yes, we'll have students build an operating system that will teach them all about this particular content descriptor. Now that's well beyond what would be expected in years seven to 10. Another teacher though might say, oh, we, we'll just have the students create an automatically generated website using an online um, web page generator where they just put in a few um, key terms and it generates the web page for them, which would be well below what would be expected in addressing many of these content descriptors. So to assist teachers in understanding where these content descriptors um, and how they can be addressed, we have the elaborations, which are essentially examples, different approaches for addressing the content descriptors. Now they're not prescriptive, you don't have to do them all, and you don't have to do any of them. You can come up with your own way of addressing the content descriptors, and you're definitely encouraged to do so. The content descriptor elaborations are simply there to give you a framing of how the content descriptors can be addressed. So, armed with the content descriptors and the elaborations, you should be now able to start thinking about how you would put all these together into a framework that allows students to learn about digital technologies in your courses.